She has been called by many the most beautiful woman in the world. At 23, Paulina Poroskova has made a name for herself as a highly acclaimed actress and the Estee Lauder woman. She is one of the most exciting models of our time. So imagine that upon birth, you have hit the genetic lottery. You're what most people would call beautiful and you make your money off of it. You grace runways around the world. People love you. You marry a rock star and you trust your husband with your money. You continue this for several years, even after you all become estranged. And unfortunately, one day he passes away. So you would expect that you would be getting those funds back, having been his dutiful wife for several years. But is this what happens? You do realize this is the Rogue series on our Halloween section, right? Just checking, sis. Uh, and I now I'm, I'm feeling like, okay, love and finance. If a girl who's going to get married, who's falling in love, if you don't think that love and finance mix, then it ain't love. We don't celebrate Halloween, but we will use it as an excuse to cover some frightful stories. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. It's actually now two weeks after Halloween at this point, but the story of Paulina's life recently is rather interesting, and for a while it was rather financially scary. Paulina Porskova, many of us know her as one of the top supermodels of the 80s and 90s, but recently Paulina is making headlines due to much different reasons. Currently, Paulina seems a bit obsessed with aging, and she's only 57. The last four years of Paulina's life have been particularly interesting. But before we get into that, let's remember who exactly Paulina Poroskova is and has been. Our first guest tonight, uh, <laughs> one of the top models in the entire world since being discovered six years ago. Oh, look at this. Good Lord. Uh, this woman's face has appeared on the cover of over 300 magazines, including two of the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issues, as well as on numerous television commercials and videos. Folks, please welcome Paulina Poroskova. Well, look, being a model, you've got to face it, you're not in brain surgery or cancer research. You live on the way you look, and which is mostly thanks to your parents or God or a plastic surgeon. Yeah. So, you know, it doesn't really have anything to do with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did have a bit of a messy childhood. I don't think anybody deserves $6 million for looking great. I mean, that's, I, in a way, you know, it's sort of got two sides to it, like every story does, right? Mm -hmm. No, I, I did have a pretty lousy childhood, so, um, you know, sort of just between, you know, moving from country to country, not being able to speak the language, bringing up my little three-year-old brother. Paulina Porsgova and Rick Okasek married on August 23rd, 1989, when she was 24 and he was 45. Yes, those numbers are correct. 24 and 45. A model since the age of 15, Paulina Porskova did not insist on having a prenup, and she grew to deeply regret this decision later in life when, after years of combining their finances, Rick passed away unexpectedly and left Paulina completely out of his will. Oh, hell no. At the time of Rick's death, he and Paulina had been estranged for approximately three years, but were still living together. So it was September 2019 when Rick Okasik died suddenly, and Paulina was stunned to learn that she had been left out of his will intentionally by him. Paulina later disclosed that she didn't even have the funds to purchase simple things like groceries, much less handle other household expenses following Rick's death and financial betrayal. I got the house that we have, we had two houses. So I got two mortgaged houses and a pension, but no, no way to pay for anything. So obviously things had to be sold, but until they got sold, I had nothing to live on. So yeah, I literally went through a year of um, asking my friends to buy us groceries. <laughs> It was uh, it was not it was not a good position to be in. I suspect the credit cards, the the checkbook, that was not oh, yeah. something you had access to. Goodbye. 
<laughs> oh yeah, that that all went away. Do you really think your husband had those intentions or do you think it was just something that had happened? That's something that I battle with all the time. That's like that's my that's my seesaw between grief and rage. When I think it he meant it, he did this intentionally or he just wasn't paying attention and he was worried about his health and somebody slipped him a piece of paper and he signed it and he didn't really pay attention to it. And you know what? I'll never get an answer to that. Two years later in October, 2021, it was disclosed that Paulina had reached a settlement with Rick's estate. Paulina took Rick's estate to court in order to receive compensation finally settling for an undisclosed amount around October 2021. This article is by page six, and it is entitled, Paulina Porskova settles with Rick Okasik estate. I am gonna be fine. She added, I know exactly how much I'm owed under New York law. How much is it due to me? And I'm getting it. The estate is settling with me. I am gonna be fine. I settled last week with the estate they were very fair. They gave me what is mine under New York state law and were done. The actress was the one who found Okasik dead at age 75 in their $10 million Gramercy Park townhouse. The next day, she'd learned he'd rewritten his will weeks before and that she was cut out and had to give up her home. It completely sideswiped me. I had no idea. I didn't know how to make heads or tails of anything, she said on the podcast. The shock of finding him and the grief of him being dead, and then, oh, guess what? You get no money. He didn't want you to have any money, and he disinherited his two oldest sons. So I was really messed up, and I won't ever have the answers. Porskova said Okasik's previous will was the one in which I inherited everything, which she acknowledged wouldn't have been fair at all given they were going through a divorce before his death. I'm totally fine with inheriting a half, which I thought was mine, she said. Turns out it's not a half under New York law, it's a third. But she hypothesized of the musician's last minute alteration my husband had some lawyers, and he was supposed to go through surgery. They just cobbled together a really fast, kind of stupid thing. I don't think my husband had the brain capacity at the time to figure out what he was really doing. He was a bit of a hypochondriac anyway. I think he signed a piece of paper without spending a lot of time thinking about it. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. Okasik was recovering from surgery when he died, according to Poroskova. Nobody expected him to die. The couple had been living separately in the same home when the singer died, and he'd written, I have made no provision for my wife, Polina Poroskova, as we are in the process of divorcing. Even if I should die before our divorce is final, Polina is not entitled to any elective share because she has abandoned me. But Poroskova told Goldman that despite their living apart under the same roof, she remained a presence in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame member's life. It was a nice big house. We had separate rooms for like five years at the time of his death. I felt really bad about leaving him in this big old empty house. I knew he needed help. I loved him. I didn't want him to have a hard time. Fast forward to Q4 2022. Paulina is in the news as her book, No Filter, which is a collection of essays, launches today on November 15th. The book, published by Penguin Random House, is described as a wise and compelling exploration of heartbreak, grief, beauty, aging, relationships, reinvention, and finding your purpose, according to the publisher's website. That's quite a bit to cover. In these essays, Poroskova bears her soul and shares the lessons she's learned, often the hard way. After a lifetime of being looked at, she is ready to be heard. 
No filter, the good, the bad, and the beautiful is currently available for pre-order before officially hitting shelves on Tuesday, November 15th. Originally, we started this video explaining that currently Paulina seems a bit obsessed with aging. And we were going to close the video with examples from her IG in which Paulina compares herself with others and even with her younger self. But it seems like we've reached a natural stopping point for this video as is. Perhaps the real question is, are you going to read Paulina's new book, No Filter? Maybe you already have. Let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon.